Hey, what is going on everybody? My name is Wolves and welcome back to some more Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Zombies. We are playing another gun game. I finally found one that um that I was, you know, looking at whenever I watch some of these on uh YouTube where uh oh yeah, you can't knife. Whoops. I forgot. But it's one of these ones where it's point based. I like the point based a little bit more, but sometimes I might do kill based challenges. Anyways, we just got through with the 1911. Now we got the MR6 here. Oh goodness, they're already coming in. They're already getting in pretty fast. No! Get out of here! Okay, or K5. Where are these? What are these uh, things on? Alright. Shiva. So, this one is point-based instead of kill-based, like the last one that we did. Terminator? Oh, is it... Okay, so we don't have to reload. There was an option as well to turn on uh, point-based or time-based zombies and vulnerable. Oh, I take that. To turn on uh, round or time-based zombies, which means that you basically have no rounds. Uh, it's just waves and waves of zombies each uh, minute or a certain amount of time. So I turned that on, and now I'm here. We are playing it. The Pharaoh. Oh, goodness. No, 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 no. What the heck is that? Some feet floating up in the air. Quick foot. Oh, okay. So I believe this is only... Um, oh, come on. I'm trying to... I was trying to reload the window. Or... I was trying to rebuild the window and also try to shoot those guys. So I believe this is all Black Ops 3 weapons. I was kind of hoping that it would have been maybe, uh, you know, a different variety as well. But I believe this is all just Black Ops 3 weapons. I will try to find one that isn't, like, fully Black Ops. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, God. Oh, God. I might have quick foot, but I don't have invulnerability. So it looks like we we have less uh we have less guns in the last gun game. If you guys see on the left there, we have nine out of thirty six uh guns instead of what was it nine out, or one out of forty four guns. So we might have less guns, but hey, that should be fine for you know my second gun game ever. What is this Terminator? Okay. So this is whenever we get just full on infinite ammo. Vesper. This is actually a really nice gun. I like the CUDA. I guess this would be good to uh, tell you guys what my favorite guns are and everything. Vesper is alright. In multiplayer, it is absolutely amazing. It's definitely reliable and everything. VMP? Oh, definitely. I think I like the Vesper more than the VMP, but the VMP does... You know, do a little bit better. It was like meta and everything, and I think Call of Duty tried to change it a little bit, but it didn't really. I don't think they really did. Okay, now we got invulnerability. KN44, nice AK. Honestly, not a bad gun. I like the. Let's see. I like the either the LCR or the uh, or the Havoc. I believe it's called. And then the KN44 is a little bit of a, a little bit of a second with me. I think we should probably try to get out of this room. I want to try to do some more Call of Duty Black Ops content for you guys. No! Uh, get me out. Anyways, I want to try to do some more Call of Duty Black Ops content for you guys. Uh, like Call of Duty Black Ops uh, Zombies. But also multiplayer. But I really I really want to do some with friends. Mainly, I, I want to do that uh, with friends and everything. You know, have a little bit of a group to play with and all. LCR. Okay, they put this weird screen on. There's perks in this map, isn't there? Maybe I should go and get some perks. But should I really open the door, though? Let's open the stairs. I think the stairs will be a better call. Okay, the HVK, yep, look at that. It's not the, called the Havoc, it's the HVK. I think I was called it the Havoc accidentally. So, array off the rip, that's nice. So we're playing this on uh, Knock Dare Toten. Um, one, I just thought it was simple and easy, and seeing how many, uh, or how many guns are in this gun game, I thought it was a pretty nice map and pretty simple and easy. For my second gun game, uh, I'll probably do more gun games on different maps. Uh, I'll take double tap. Yep. Oh, God. No, 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 no. Oh, goodness. Okay, good, good. Can I open this? Uh, oh, my gosh. Oh, dead shot? Okay, well, I'll, I'll take it. 
since I am on controller. I didn't even mean to take it. I didn't even know Deadshot was on this map, but apparently it is. SVG. Oh, okay. Sniper rifle. I'll be fine with it. Honestly, really not a bad sniper rifle in multiplayer. This thing is actually... It's a really good sniper rifle. What the heck was that? I like the Locust a bit more. Dang, this thing has no recoil. I hope that uh, the snipers in the next game... I'll take that. Um, I hope the snipers in the next game, Call of Duty Black Ops 6, uh, do not have recoil, nor they... Um, what is happening? How am I... Thank you. S scope in. This slower than my grandmother getting out of bed in the morning. Actually, she gets up out of bed pretty fast, so can't really say that. Let's just hope that it is nowhere, you know, like as slow as, you know, Modern Warfare 3 is aiming in. Okay, so we got an AK 47U, Quick Feet, and Terminator. Yeah. The Terminator. Get to the chopper now. Okay, so we can only have four perks. Honestly, I haven't really seen. Okay, the bootlegger. I haven't really seen this map much. It's actually it's not really a bad redesign. It's got its own, like, twist to it and everything. I wonder why the bootlegger... Well, I guess you can't really put attachments on the bootlegger. It's really just, uh... It's really pack-a-punch that you can really put attachments on, can you? Ooh, MP40? Oh, this is a classic gun. I'm liking this mod pack. It's going through all the guns that we see in Black Ops 3 Zombies, and honestly, it's not bad. I still haven't seen any Black Ops 6 leaks, by the way. Um, which... <laughs> I'm, I'm really wanting to. It's like, I just want to stay away from all of it uh, and not, you know, get, you know, the. I, I just don't want it to be spoiled for me. I want to fully be immersed as soon as it comes out and everything. I just hope that the multiplayer. So, I've been getting into multiplayer lately, but I've been. I've pretty much stopped playing multiplayer since Modern Warfare 3, actually. Honestly, I think $70 for Modern Warfare 3, uh, 2000 and... what is it, 2023? I think that's a bit excessive. I don't know what Sledgehammer or Modern War Treyarch or whoever, I don't know what they were thinking, uh, about putting $70 on that. It was basically just an update to, uh, you know, update the game and everything. I mean, they, like, in the first launch day, they put, you know, like, maybe, like, a handful of guns in with the old guns, which even if you use the old guns, you really weren't getting much out of that. The old guns, like, it'll take, like, eight to nine shots to even kill a person like they could not be looking at you while you actually were shooting at them and then of course they came out with the same maps they came out with some new maps but with the same maps and everything i i also hope that they do not uh do the challenges to unlock your weapons and your equipment and everything i hope they really do not do that because sometimes a lot of us don't do challenges in this game i don't really do the challenges i just you know if i play the game and you know i complete a challenge oh i completed a challenge great but i really hope that the multiplayer does not have challenges to where you can uh you have to get your equipment is are they getting stuck up here i think they're getting stuck up here let's try to see if i can make a train in here no i can't i can't this was a bad idea oh my goodness i will say i did actually go back to quality black ops 4 um uh, for the first time in a few years and i never really played much of call of duty black ops 4 but i will say it is actually really fun i mean there's a bunch of try hard and sweats on it and eh, it, i mean it's not really you know like i the health bars and everything i i don't know how to say it but it kind of felt like i was playing cold war mixed with you know it was either one of the Call of Duty Modern Warfares of this, uh, the new Call of Duties. I don't know why I think of that. It was a little bit strange whenever I, uh, you know, thought of that. Whenever I was playing it. Also, there is a lot of tryhards who still play that game. I will say, some of the servers that you can actually get into are actually really fast still. Like, there's still people that play Call of Duty Black Ops 4. I'm actually really happy a little bit now of course you can't really play blackout uh as much i tried playing blackout maybe I've, if i can you know have one day for a video play blackout for you guys i will definitely love to play back out it was more fun than warzone warzone i don't, I don't know what the oh a thunder gun warzone 2.0 for me was actually like the better 
of Warzone Warzone. It just felt better, the proximity felt better, nobody was, you know, running around slide canceling and everything. It really just felt better to me. My goodness. I don't really think this is killing or like going all the way. This feel this thunder gun feels a bit weak. <laughs> Terminator. My goodness, imagine that. Imagine if we had that. That'd be so overpowered. I think I said this in the last gun game episode. If you, if anybody watched that uh, episode or game or video, I was talking about how everyone was saying that um, the new zombies, uh, Black Ops 6 zombies, is going to be kind of like Cold War zombies, but they were hoping that it would be like black ops 3 zombies i really do hope that it is more like black ops 3 than cold war because i don't know why in cold war zombies they decide to give us first they gave us a mini map which that is the most useless thing in zombies anyways i don't know who in their right mind uses a mini map in zombies i don't know oh nice oh wait this is the last gun gosh ah uh, get out of here i really do hope we get round based zombies and I hope that we do have starter weapons instead of, you know, picking a layout or a loadout and uh, just get rolling with it and everything. Because I don't want that. I want starter weapons. It just feels wrong to start with, like, an AR or something as, like, their first weapon. Because you're pretty much halfway through the rounds as soon as you, uh, you know, get going. And you haven't even changed guns and everything. And the zombies felt a little bit more weaker as well. Oh my goodness, I'm spamming this. Just go! Just go! Yeah, but that's really all I hope for. Uh, Gobblegums, of course, coming back. I hope, you know, that is, you know, good. Hopefully it plays in an important part. This is a... This is a view, isn't it? <laughs> Jeez. Oh, Terminator! Yeah! There it is. <laughs> I decided to end it right there. That was actually good fun. I know it was a little bit short and everything, but I think that sh is fine for my first gun game experience. My second, not my first though. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. It would definitely help me and support the channel as well. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace!